everyone. This is my first YouTube video, I guess you can say. I was going to live stream it on Twitch, but I thought I'd just do this first. Then I will be live streaming on Twitch using this PC. Um, so if you want to watch that, I'll leave a link to the description, to it in the description. Um, yeah, I'm going to be building a PC today. I'm not an expert. This is my first ever PC. I've used PS4 for as long as it's been out. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd finally make the switch and and join the PC Master Race, if that's what you want to call it. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be building it. I've got all the parts I need right there. Uh, I'm going to bring them up, show you what they are, and then putting them on the thing. I've only watched a few videos online of how to build it, so if I make any mistakes, which I hope I don't, then I'll try and rectify that. And yeah, hopefully it all works out. Um, and yeah, let's get going. So I think, start. I'll show you what the motherboard is. So uh, I've gone with a, it's a micro ATX motherboard, which is the B550 mortar. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, gone with that. I bought a case, which I got recently, which I didn't realize is a micro PC case. So I had to find that out and then buy a motherboard that, that fit it. I didn't realize about that because I'm obviously, like I said, I'm new to this. So I've gone with that for the motherboard. I've seen some good reviews and a lot of people use it. Um, and yeah, so that's out of the box. And first, I think you need the CPU. So I've gone with the Ryzen 5 5600X. Um, it's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I've got it for around £260. Um, yeah, I know this motherboard is compatible with it, which is the main thing. I don't want it to be uh, not to work. So, yes, yeah, so let's uh, start. Let's get this out of the box. I know this comes with the cooler, a stock cooler in it, which is there. I don't, I am going to be getting a better cooler for it, um, as I know this CPU and the graphics card I'm getting will need a better cooler than the stock one. But if you need to, I'm sure the stock one would be fine. Uh, I won't be using it, but I'm sure if you uh, have a bit more of a budget, you won't need it. Um, but yes, so we're opening this carefully. Just uh, man, how expensive this stuff is, and it's like very small. So let's start by lifting the little rod. Let's spin this around. Then you take out the CPU. There, find the gold triangle. Don't touch the bottom with all the little little prongs on it, don't want to bend any of them. I'm going to line it up with the triangle and the gold bit on it, which is there. Find it, you just drop it into place and it should fall. Perfect. So, see, no pressure on it, don't press it down, you just drop it in. Um, and yeah, you push this back down. So back under. There you go. So that's my first ever CPU installed. And all that sound was, but <laughs> hopefully that means it's all right. So next, you go for you go and grab your RAM, which I've gone for the Corsair Vengeance LPX two 16 gig ones for 32 gig. I went for the the 32 gig because I am going to be streaming using this PC, and I know that. To stream, you probably want as much RAM as you can, as obviously it's processing a lot more, a lot more data. So you grab that, let me get rid of that. You grab your RAM, and you find on the motherboard, the two slots. You, if you only have two, you want to put it in the second and the fourth slot, which it says on the motherboard, if you have a look really close above the RAM slots. So you go for one, two, and you line it up with the little gap which is in the RAM. A little gap in there, you line it up on the motherboard, see where it is, place it in, get it right, and then you press press down, and it should click in like that. So once you hear that click, that means it's in, 
Then you do it again with the fourth slot. You add the second ram. Just go in, click, click, and there we go. You have your ram installed. So once you've done that, you want to grab your SSD. So I've gone for the WD Blue SM570 uh, M.2 SSD. It's got one terabyte of, uh, of space. I still am gobsmacked by how they even fit that in that. But you want to get, first of all, you want to find out where you're going to put the M.2 SSD. And on this motherboard, there's a little slot right there with a the heatsink over it, which says Lightning Jet M.2. Uh, Gen generation 4 M.2. I'm going to grab your little screwdriver. You want to go in. You want to. If I can even do it. Right, so after extensive research, I finally found how to unscrew these nails off the heatsink. And you want to make sure you don't lose them nails as you'll need them place to screw back in. Oh, I'm quite good on that. I'm guessing that one stays on. Yes, that one stays on. It's got something there. I didn't know that. See? Another thing. So, what you want to do is insert your SSD. Grab it. One end. You want to make sure you place it in where there's a gap inside of the SSD slot where there's a gap on the SSD itself. You see it's there, so you want to turn it, place it in. And it should line up nice and straight. Make sure you take off the plastic seal. Very satisfying, it looks like to me. And then you put it back on where you took it off. Make sure it's back in the hole. Let's make sure I've not done that wrong. Yeah, there you go, I did it a tiny bit wrong. So you have to make sure you press it all the way in so it's lifted up a bit like that and then you bend it down. I know that probably doesn't seem right but you bend it down, make sure you put the screw back in the hole. Make sure then, screw that back down grab your screw that you that come off push that back in make sure that's in the hole it should screw nice and tight back on to your thing so that should be the ssd nice and installed as you can see there that's what you should look like after you've installed the ssd cpu and the brown Okay, nice. So now, if I'm correct, we've done RAM, the SSD, CPU, all these little boxes everywhere, fan. I think we should be done, and now we move on to the case. All right, so now we're with the case. I've moved downstairs, different bit of scenery, because um, obviously I've got a bit more space on the table than when I was upstairs. So we're going to start by need to take off the front panel which I need to move the screwdriver. They are thumb screws. Just loosen them and then they will come off. Just be very careful 
going to rip it off we do not drop the glass there we go place that down to the side and then we have this open space here this is where the motherboard will be going all right so i just turn it on this side so i think it'll be easier to install the motherboard that way you can just grab it and then you line up the holes on the motherboard inside Right, so once you've lined all that up in there, you grab the screws that look like that, the bigger end ones, and you fit them into the holes, and you screw them in, they should fit nice and tight in there. And then you just quickly grab another one, fit it on the end, it'd be easier if you had a magnetic screwdriver, so if you don't then you can cope I'm sure. Obviously, you can't see what I'm doing, but you get the gist. I don't know how many holes there are, but you just fill in the holes, and then your motherboard should be nice and secure. As you can see now, the motherboard is nice and secure inside. Um, it didn't wasn't too hard to put on all the screws, but now once it's all nice and secure, you start to plug in the wires that are on the back. Draw zip tied here. So I'm going to undo all that and then you plug them in. Right, so after trying to figure out where most of the wires go, I've gone a bit. Um, but now we're on to the power supply. So I've gone with the EVGA 650 watt. I think it should be alright to cope with the um, power that my PC will make. Um, so yeah, I Manual that shows you up there. This isn't a module one, so it does come with the wires attached. You can have your other cables here that you need, and it also comes with some cable management, I think, some cable management stuff that you can use, which is all nice and good and weatherized. Right, so back now, I didn't show you put, me putting in the power supply because getting all the wires out and plugging into the motherboard was an absolute nightmare. So I got all that in there, it's all set up. Um, I ordered a graphics card the other day, so this is the next day on from then. Um, I ordered a graphics card and the CPU cooler. The CPU cooler is on its way. I have the graphics card, which is a 3060. Uh, gigabyte, it's the Eagle OC 12 gig, um, which is pretty good. So, I'm going to install that um, and then we're going to wait for the cooler to come, install the cooler, and then install this, and we should be ready to go. So, yes, I'm not going to show you show me installing it because it was a nightmare, but yes, so that's what we're going to be doing, and we'll see you soon when it should be all ready to go. Oh, and just before I go, I'll show you it. There it is. There's the graphics card. Pretty nice. Pretty good. I'm going to get that installed and should be nearly ready to go. Right, back again. Different clothes and magic. But i uh, got the final part, which is the cooler. My CPU, see it's the Master, Master Liquid ML240R RGB. Gotta get as many colors as you can, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna install this, install the graphics card, and we should be good to go. Next time you see me, I'll have the PC all ready and all turned on. Yeah.
Let's go. I guess I finally finished it. Took a lot of work, but finally done. I installed the cooler and the graphics card. So this is how it's come out. A few very nice lights in there. And now I've got the cooler, graphics card there, shrink cooler. And it's looking all nice and tidy, just getting it all installed now. But yes, all perfect.